Well, remember back in March, we showed you the launch of a new weather satellite. Yeah, it hadn't been that long ago. Well, today, NOAA released the first pictures from that satellite, more than 22,000 miles above Earth's surface. Meteorologist Alex Forbes, who's on the ground, has been on top of this for months and joins us now with more details. Back on March 1st, we were there in Cape Canaveral, Florida for the launch of what was known at the time as GOES T. And now that it's in orbit, GOES T is GOES 18. And today, we got the first stunning views of our planet from the satellite. GOES 18 is the third in a series of four satellites that NOAA and NASA have developed and are developing with the latest technology to collect atmospheric, land, and water data. It will eventually take over the GOES West domain from GOES 17. Of course, GOES 17 was the satellite that experienced problems with its cooling systems on board, distorting the data. Now, since being in orbit, GOES 18 has seen several notable events in the United States so far, including storms across East Texas that produced large hail, strong wind gusts, and tornadoes. It also saw blowing dust in parts of New Mexico and expansion of large wildfires. We also saw sea breezes and very high resolution in South Florida. Now, the next satellite to be launched will be GOES U, which will eventually become GOES 19. That's slated to occur in 2024. I'm meteorologist Alex Forbes, 13 WMAZ News. Awesome stuff right there. Now, this satellite program is going to extend the United States' satellite capabilities until 2036, and that's when a whole new generation of satellites will be introduced.